One of the things I like about architecture the most is that it's a creative enterprise where you have to think things through and you, you draw something and then you check and think and then you think, oh, I can make this better and then you change it. And then I can make this better and you change it. And then you, someone will say, well, what about this? And oh, I can make that better. And then you change it. And so it's this kind of back and forth process till, until you find the right solution to the question and the architectural problem. This is some of my stone collection that I have in my office. It's a beautiful gray stone, but then it has this very strange green and orange stripe through it every now and then. Working with natural stone is really a great experience because it, it, it doesn't happen every day. You might have countertops that would be stone or perhaps a windowsill element or, or flooring that would be natural stone, but these buildings are, are noble and beautiful. The building I, the, that I first really cut my teeth on as a stone building is the state capitol office buildings at the Utah State Capitol. Um, long ago, the original architect had master planned four buildings in the complex, and they really only built one. And then many years later, they built the other one. Um, and then we built the final two to complete a quad of four buildings. And the client deliberately wanted it built of stone to match the historic state capitol building and in character with the building. And so we studied, um, we studied the classical architecture of the capitol building and we built these east and west office buildings. One is a office building for the House of Representatives and the other is for the State Senate. And we built these buildings uh, with a local contractor and local uh, stone subcontractor. Uh, and the stone came out of uh, Italy and the fabricator was in Italy. And we went to visit them often and, and make sure that the stone that we were getting was within the range that we wanted and didn't have the veining in it. Um, but there we, I learned so much about the attachment of stone and the detail of stone and how the stone fabricators can do so much to make all the shapes and the carvings. And these aren't, these aren't people with a hammer and chisel. They'll, they'll use that tool to clean up the work, but a lot of the work is automated with the CNC machines and the, and the laser controlled saws that cut the stone. Um, but to see the fabrication and touched up by hand, it's just really, really wonderful. One of our biggest clients as a firm is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And they, they, these temple projects, they really want them to be noble, beautiful buildings. And so we often use stone. The church builds these temple buildings all over the world. And there is a group of architects here in Salt Lake City, we're one of them, that do the architecture for these buildings and, uh, and, the, and different materials and sourced locally, sourced differently. Um, but they like to build these buildings out of stone. It has a richness and a character to it that, uh, that this client really wants the beauty and the strength and stability of the natural stone. And they, they, they truly talk about these buildings lasting hundreds of years. And building with natural stone is, is an e easy way to make the buildings more noble and to be more enduring and endearing. They're, they're beautiful in the natural stone with the different, different kinds of stone, different veining and variety of the stone uh, makes the buildings so much more beautiful. They can have a richness and a quietness at the same time uh, because, of the, because of the use of natural stone. Roger is a very humble architect. I've worked with him uh, for the last 20 years on some significant stone jobs. So it was knowing his balance, his collaborative nature, and his passion to get it right. And, and he has got it right. And when someone had suggested, oh, let's, let's make like this to save some money. And we said, no, we'll, let's make it like this because people will photograph it up high with high power lenses and you'll still be able to see the richness and the beauty. The Bybee Award is for recipients whose life body of architectural work really celebrates and honors uh, the proper use of natural stone. And 
Roger Jackson, like all the greats in, in the uh, use of stone in, in their design, really honors the proper use of stone. And Roger unequivocally sits perfectly with the past recipients of this award. So that's why I nominated him.